Hello everybody, welcome to the Blitzpit first round. Um, I'm Jim McMahon, with me is Gorilla Metal. Hello, hello, hello. The JFW Universe is on hold for the weekend because we are here for the premier league or, or tournament in the Blood Bowl universe. We are here for Blitz Pit, the one minute turn frenzy of action. The sweetest prize pot in all of, not wrestling, Blood Bowl. But we've got some of our JFW stalwarts in this competition, including the undead mastermind himself, G'day Nick, who runs this competition, has stepped aside, handed off all of the management duties to Bezel for the weekend so he can try and win his own money back, Jim. <laughs> Yes, incredible. And we've got, what a what a amazing first round match we've got. Random Boy versus Mike the Machine, two of the absolute top guys in Blood Bowl 2. And by extension, the world. <laughs> and uh, yeah, interesting, isn't it? Orcs with plenty of block and guard for Random Boy. A Rando Frenzy, I guess this is to do double duty of, uh, you know, maybe he's threatening the sidelines and the poor man's tackle. Blocked up is Troll. Uh, Mike the Machine has gone for some kind of less interesting in my mind. Skaven team. What's he got? Oh, he's got Glart though. Okay, that's what that's what he's got that makes it interesting. Glart, Claw Mighty. Um, it's not Underworld. It's normal Skaven. He's got Gutters. Uh, I, I'm, do you know what? I prefer I prefer Random Boys team. I like all his guard. Four block guard. Really like that. Uh, more Absolutely. Than and if you are, if you're sitting down watching this and you don't know the, the rules of Blitz Pit, they do change every tournament. Uh, the only thing that doesn't change is you've got one minute every turn to get your moves in. And that causes some really quick and really frenzied games. You can see the challenge down in chat now, which you can see all the teams as well as the builds. Basically speaking, these are both tier one teams. They're getting nine normals and... Uh, Nope, I'm sorry, they're not both tier one teams. Is that right? I don't That's not right. They should both be. Oh, no, they are not. Uh, <laughs> Skaven counts as a tier three team, and this gets 10. I guess the tiers are completely different than you'd expect. Uh, 10 yeah. normal, one double for the Skaven. And for the Orcs, they are getting themselves. Uh, they are tier two, nine normals and one double. So 13 10 versus 13 30 in this one, folks. Thanks very much, Gorilla. Right, there you go. That's uh, that's that I've done. That I'm streaming. Yeah. <laughs> Completely lost track of times. <laughs> yeah, I was kind of wondering. I was sitting there. And I was like, "Well, I know he needed. He was uploading. He might have needed a minute, but that's fine. This action so fast and furious. We'll be caught up to real time. If uh, I, well, I mean, we are caught up to real time." But uh, yeah. no worries at all. We've got the rats on offense. Don't know who won that toss. Uh, but you'll notice uh, the orcs uh, rocking no bench whatsoever, um, <clears throat> and they are up against the Claw Mighty. That could come into play, Jim. What do you think? Oh, and a Palmer. Yeah, I mean, the thing is, it's going to be hard for them to get hits off. You know, well, Random Boy is going to do the best he can to make it hard to get hits off. Uh, there's not any guard on the Skaven team, so it's, uh, which is weird because... I think it's weird to have Glart and then make two killers as well, because you know, you've, you've got you can't like if he'd had a guard, he could have stuck the guard in blitz with his claw mighty. As it is, he's just going to blitz with uh, with Glart. I don't know. I'm, I'm not such a fan of that, to be honest. Yep. There you go. You can see uh, Satterfield's done them both. Mighty machines at a a heady seventy two percent, um, which is pretty good, isn't it? Yeah, and I, I'll say about Random Boys, his uh, his 63.5 could be a little deceptive uh, comparatively. He's been in the league, uh, in the CCL ranks for a very long time now. And those uh, those 60s used to be, you know, those, you know, a 60% back in the day isn't quite the same as it is in the last few seasons uh, where you've been getting a lot of uh, fresher coaches coming into the meat grinder in CCL. Yeah, and I, th I think mostly I think he learned how to play it in CCL as well, didn't he? Oh, so. I didn't know that, but I, I guess it, I guess it does, uh, I guess it does make sense. Random boy, it was in fact a boy when Blood Bowl <laughs> got started. Still calling himself a man these days or guy, but uh, still a boy by our standards, eh, Jim? 
<laughs> yes, absolutely, yeah. And as you can see, uh, Mighty Machine just can't make a blitz, can he? he you know, position yeah. by random boy, he, he knows his stuff, he is not letting him get an easy hit off, and it's good. It's a really, maybe it's just a poor matchup for this given team, but it doesn't seem, I don't know what match we'd be hoping for with this given. I, got, I don't know, I really don't like it. I mean, look at this guy, block tackle, it's not a fan of the Skaven team. I might be a little bit echoey. Uh, I'll move my mic away from myself a little bit because I do have a tendency to shout. So I might just be overpowering Jim's Jim's <laughs> side of things. Yeah, I don't know. It should, it should be it should be alright, but it's it's a bit fucked up with things a bit. To be honest with the, uh, it seems really easy to mess up with um, Discord settings and stuff. So maybe they're fucked up with that. But never mind. Um, the tr when I tried to mess about with it last time. For the preview, I fucked it up, and this time it might be all right <laughs> for, on the YouTube video at least. Actually, Satterfield, out of curiosity, let me know if this is a little bit better. Um, I have an interesting setup right now at, at, at my at my PC, and I'm wondering if I was causing that uh, causing that problem. So let me know, Satterfield, if it sounds different based off of nothing changing on Jim's end currently, uh, if I'm a little more echoey. So what I did is I've got, you know, so I've got that sit stand motorized desk that, uh, that I drive to work occasionally. <laughs> uh, but my monitor doesn't adjust its height. So I bought a, I just bought a new thing. Oh, okay, yeah, I was causing that then. That's really interesting. Here's a little bit of an audio lesson for you folks. I've got a mic, I've got a really nice mic, but uh, it's like a, uh, I use for video production but no mic stand for it. So I've just been like leaning it on my keyboard usually when I talk, cause I don't want to like bounce it or anything. But now I've got this new nice, this really nice handcrafted wooden uh, 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 monitor stand for the monitor to go on top of to just to raise it up a little bit. So my neck isn't always looking down, uh, but it's hollow underneath. So there's this big echo chamber underneath. And when I lean the mic on that, it's probably causing that echo a little bit. But now that it's just standing up, freestanding here, away from that, it shouldn't be a problem anymore. Or to simplify it, as Johnny Five would say, you had a bell over your head, and now you've taken it off. <laughs> I don't understand that, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't understand it either, but it made me chuckle because J Five's a lunatic. Yeah, very, very true. <laughs> um... <laughs> He's referencing something that he expects me to know, and I, I offhand I'm not getting it. Yeah, it'll be something from some American show, won't it? Probably yeah, like I'm pretty, good, or, I'm pretty good at those. <laughs> probably like Rush or uh, something, something like that. I really hate. By the way, I really hate the GFIs have been changed to Rush. Like, oh yeah, yeah. God, I, like I'm unnaturally snackery about that. It doesn't. It just. It's so. It just seems unnecessary. Yeah, it's been GFI like, for wrong, yeah. It's been GFI for thirty fucking years, man. Yeah. Don't 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 change that. Hundred <laughs> percent GFI stupidity. <laughs> no. <laughs> well, I'm glad I didn't do that thing where you try and uh, laugh at the joke to pretend like you got it because you know it won't come back to bite you in the ass. Like, oh, I get that reference. J5 would be like, why are you secretly filming me at home? <laughs> he might he might suspect anyway. So. <laughs> yeah, but they, they changed bab babes to kegs for a reason, right? They thought it was uh, they thought it was a bit more PC to be kegs rather than babes. And babes don't have much of a history in Blood Bowl, neither do kegs, whereas... And actually, kegs is more descriptive of why it, it affects them, isn't it? They drink the beer in the kegs rather than uh, they drink the bibs that have the beer in the kegs. <laughs> Big reroll there, dodging out the, uh, the dirty player with half his team on the ground right now. Uh, uh, he's, I guess he's got to hope to make a lot more three pluses, otherwise all of those orcs are going to get in front of his team here. I mean, yeah. they kind of can anyway. But, I mean, oh, this is a decision. Go. Oops. Yeah. Loses his tackler. Decision uh, for Random Boy here is whether he uh, tries to take out the thrower and, and get more in front or go for the claw when he's got the chance, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, I was going to ask Jim, there is no excuse for scoring with four turn eight for 
Uh, Mike the Machine is there. No, no, he's got to try and stall it out. Yeah, 100%. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, can you explain to me via the Blitzbit rules? I've never actually understood how some teams can uh, roster a star player like we've got Glart over there. Can you explain that one to me? Uh, yeah, when th there's some way when you create a team, because I've done it by accident, that you can give your team money when you're creating a custom team. And uh, what happens is when you play the game and you put in money from your treasury, it doesn't, after the game, the money comes back. So I didn't realise that when I was making the, you know, the original NAF ladder. And so I thought, what well, if, you know, I knew you could get money, but I didn't know that it wouldn't, it would come back after you'd spent it. So I thought, it's stupid because you'd have to give yourself a million gold coins, right? If you wanted to pay 100k for a Master Chef every game, for example. Um, I thought you would have to then like create a million so that you could have 10 games or whatever. But actually the money comes back after every game, so it's pretty, it's pretty simple to do. I hope you understood that, Gorilla. I did, I've got my wireless headphones on. I was just refilling my water while you talked. Uh, yeah, that makes sense. So I guess, I guess the custom team in this case, I don't really know why, but I guess it just resets it like it's always a fresh first game. Yeah. Interesting. <laughs> no Sheffield Steelix because he's got he's got animosity. <laughs> 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 yeah, that uh that sure that sure is a uh <laughs> that sure is something there that animosity rule. I don't honestly like if orcs were a stronger team I I wouldn't hate the animosity if nothing else and I hate I know you're not going to like this uh justification for the rules but if nothing else it's like it's kind of fitting like in terms of the canon of the world but yeah. uh man does that yeah that makes orcs a real tough sell do you think do you think the black orc team is better though <laughs> i mean it's terrible but it's so i guess orcs aren't gonna be that bad yeah but um yeah, they're, pro they're probably better than a terrible team, but they're still they're not as good as you would think, and like they, they never win as much as you'd think. And maybe that is tainted by new players playing them a lot, but you know they're just I don't know they're never that good at winning. And obviously in Blitz, but you don't have to win; you just have to draw most of the time. So you know I feel like they're still a decent choice, but they are a bit slow, aren't they? And I feel like they, they what happens with Orcs is I think they're pretty good at a thousand TV, pretty good. But then they just don't scale so well, do they? And I always, that's why right. I always thought Thick Skull would be an amazing skill for Blackhawks because at low TV, there's not so much Mighty Blow claw piling on. So Thick Skull isn't as relevant. But at high TV, there becomes a lot of claw and Mighty Blow and piling on, in which case Thick Skull would be a, a pretty good boost for them at high TV. So I thought, been really, I thought that would have been really nice for Orcs, but... Um, Apparently, give them animosity instead was better. Now, Mike, uh, Mike the Machine is going to be in a spot of trouble here. He's got several of his players that are completely isolated and uh, <laughs> have hard dodges to make to really get any help. Uh, and he's pushed way back. Now, I mean, he's Skaven, so he's going to be able to shoot up in two turns and score whenever he wants. But, you know, he's already only got a turn of uh, leeway left. Uh, before he's really got to really got to push up and protect the ball. Curious though, random boy pushing forward on him, not keeping too much back for a breakaway there. Yeah, it's it's tough. He's he's got to put pressure on, but not too much pressure. It is very very tricky against Skaven and Elves and that, isn't it? Always yeah. to uh, to defend hard without over committing and and over pursuing and everything. It is it is always a tricky balance. I don't yeah. know how much Orcs Random Boy has played or how much against good Skaven coaches he's played. If he's playing in Rebel mostly, he's played against probably two good Skaven coaches in his entire <laughs> life. But he, does, he has played he has played a fair amount in CCL, hasn't he? No, so I won't he will have played good coaches in Skaven before. Probably the same two good coaches. And I will defend. I will defend. <laughs> pregnancies, pregnancies everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, Nadia, stand fantastic. Pregnancies, pregnancies everywhere. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I don't get to hear the French lady talk. That's, <laughs> that's, pretty, I could kind of hear it, but barely. Pretty incredible. Je me <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 
<laughs> thank you, thank you very much, Onani, for over eight people pregnancies. Absolutely glorious. No, Joe no, Manji is the, no the, the, the legendary name of Joe Manji, who oh. I've heard a lot of people talk about in the tabletop world, but I've never, I don't know that I've ever seen him play or not. Maybe I've seen him because I know he does play a little bit. Does not show up for Blitz Pit. What a shame. No, I wish I'd known that. I would have filled in for him. Like, I know well, there's still time, Jim. Or J5, I think, would be my pick. <laughs> J5 would be my pick for Blitz Pick. This is, this is the one competition he might have a significant advantage in because he only needs about 13 seconds to make his turn. Yeah, as, as much as I wasn't a fan of playing loads of Blood Bowl and that, I would, I would have done it, you know, just to help out and be a lovely fella. Yeah. There's still time, Jim. I can take over from here. <laughs> no, nah, I wouldn't like coming in with a loss already anyway. I guess it means that I definitely wouldn't have to play too many games. Well, I mean, I mean, the, you could finish the game. You could finish the game and just be 10 minutes behind if you started basically now, but... Yeah. <laughs> Jimmy wins. Or just George Santonian and you'll auto win it like you did on JFW last night. What a showing there. What a goddamn showing there. I have nothing... Nothing but good things to say about what happened last night on JFW Stand Firm. <laughs> it was unbelievable. Absolutely yeah, it, unbelievable. I, I definitely found myself not believing what I was seeing. Hundred <laughs> percent. Oh god. My uh, my fiance just got back from uh, we have a little French goods store, so they sell all sorts of like cheese and crepes and stuff. She just brought me back a cup of coffee, so you know what that means. You know what that means, Jim. Once I load up on coffee for commentary, it's game over. <laughs> I figured I figured I should energize because I know you're constantly battery is falling. <laughs> Your battery levels are falling drastically every every turn that goes by in a game of football. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That is true. Uh, thank you very much, Tony, for those bits. Right, I'm gonna have some food now. I've got I've got some chicken to eat. So, um, All right, you do it. I'll take over here, folks. Sorry if you're looking for critical analysis. You're not going to find it, but I will talk very enthusiastically about the things that are happening in front of me, and that generally is enough for most commentary. Yeah, I, do you know what? I think, um, one last thing before I go, I feel like Random Boy may be overcommitted a little bit. Maybe this uh, Frenzy guy should have been deeper here, but uh, he might get away with it. You never know. Yeah, I mean, it's going to come down to a few dodges, a few maybe slightly leery dodges for for that gutter with the ball. But if he gets through, he's basically through. And uh, when we're looking at when you're looking at these two teams, you know, the orcs don't have the orcs don't have a ton of killing on, you know, in their hands. They've just got that guard to shut down all the blocking, but they're still going up against a lot of armor seven. And then you look at the other side with the claw mighty and a palmer and you're seeing empty reserve boxes empty ko's empty cas boxes this is a disappointing half i think for both of these coaches uh doubly so for mike if he can't get through and score right now and it's definitely going to take some dice looks like we're getting the red d oh look at that dirty dirty dingo red dice double pow does he save himself the square and force himself? No, he does not. But now he can go up. He can he can either mark or screen off that frenzy piece, and that gutter is gonna be clear sailing almost. <laughs> no, Tony, you don't need to. I mean, you already. You've already uh, staunched that wound, I think. Anything you do from here out could uh, could backfire on your end. You know, you got the upper advantage, my friend. And there it is. Yep, we've got Quia Mute Squeak, the gutter runner blodger. He's through. He's in scoring position. Oh, no. But the one and nine dodge. And now there's a clear shot on the ball. Can he make it three dice? Easily enough to make it worthwhile. I don't know if he can. One, two, three, four, five, six. So he can probably make this three dice if he's willing to. Oh, yeah, he can definitely make this three dice. The question is, what does he do about that uh, that other scoring threat there? 
Um, so even if he jars this ball loose and puts that gutter on the ground, there's still a chance for, uh, for Mike the Machine here. And yeah, we're using that first half of this uh, one minute turn to figure this out. Is he going to maybe, oh, he's maybe going to do the blitz. Yeah, he's going to do the blitz with the frenzy, but it doesn't look like he's going to get a 3D out of it without. Yeah, so I think he might just be settling on the, uh, on the frenzy blitz, throwing four dice at him. He is. I think I would have preferred seeing a 3D here. And there goes the reroll. First one doesn't get him. He's got another shot at it, though. And he does get him on the second one. Frenzy paying off dividends. Ball scatters. That is a retrievable position with some dice for the, uh, the, the, the Wrestle Dodge gutter runner there. Has a chance. Dogs are going crazy. This is going to take some serious dice for Hulach, the gutter runner. Oh, and look at that. Look at that. Dirty, dirty pickup. And now I think if you're the rats, you just got to focus on, on locking up these score threats and uh, not, uh, not conceding a touchdown. And that's exactly what's going to happen here. He's going to put this claw mighty. Oh, no, he's hitting the thrower. I don't think the thrower is a score threat. His thrower was not a score threat, still hitting him. But now he, oh, he's still got, yeah, he can still hit all these guys. So the Palmer now can hit score threat number one. And that's it. Only one score threat left standing. And he's about to get palmed. All right, so now Random Boy can try some crazy crap to still score. He hasn't used his blitz yet. And, uh, yeah, he's got dice. And, he, and, you know, there's no real downside to this. There's no possible way to chain anyone in. And finally gets a KO, too, um, for Mike. So here we go. This could be a play and a half right here. Gets the pow. Will he get the good scatter he needs? And then he's just got to roll some dice. Does not get the first. Ah, oh, does not get a good scatter at all. Can he still do it? One, two, three, four. Nope, he's going to need some help now. Is he still going to even try? Yeah, he's still going to try this. <laughs> all right, who's going to make this pass? They're going to have to make a... Uh, Four plus pickup coming. Oh, oh, here you go, gutter runners. Ladies and gentlemen, brace yourself because you won't have to deal with this bullshit in Blood Bowl 2020 because we're going to see what would normally be a, 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 a four plus base pass. So that would go up to a six on this one, I believe. Uh, and now I think, uh, I think Random Boy is about to get ratted, ratted hard. Yep, and there it is. The pass is good. Unbelievable. The fucking rats have scored. Mike the Machine up 1-0. Random Boy uh, gets his KO back. So uh, still amazingly, no damage on either side. Uh, I don't think we're going to see the one-turn. I mean, we might, we might see a one-turn attempt. These coaches are of the caliber that they could try and pull off a movement six one turn because there is frenzy on the board but that's going to be a hell of a one turn to try and uh try and pull off i think random boy here is just going to try and take two rats off the los permanently yeah i mean j5 that was my very first reaction to seeing all of the spoilers of blood bowl 2020 was that you know what i don't feel too bad about gutters having to pass on a four plus now because they're already so good even if they could never throw a pass again in their life they're already so good at just running, GFIing, and handing off uh, to get all the way across the board anyway. So make them have to do that. It'll cut that play out of existence almost. Actually, I didn't look at the dice log. You might have still pulled it off. Uh, dodge, pick up, dodge, dodge. 
pass. Yeah. So, so in this particular case, he still would have, he still would have pulled it off uh, because he made the six, he rolled the six on the pass and the catch. So that play would have worked in blood bowl 2020 uh, to the best of my knowledge. I don't think anything else would have changed, uh, but that would have been a much rarer play. And he certainly wouldn't have gone into it with the confidence that he had in this case. Hilarious stuff. Jim missed out on that one, but uh, we'll have to make sure to walk him through that play. <sighs> yeah, J5, I, I, I do agree, but then you look at things like the Necromantic team who, okay, so they've got four, what, four ghouls, two, two, uh, two werewolves, and two whites. Now the whites no longer have hands. So they can't pass at all. And the werewolves and the ghouls are passing on a four plus that basically just eradicates any hope of uh, recovering from a uh, short, you know, a, you know, a, a short drive on a on a on a deep kick uh, for a team like Necromantic. Ooh, and there's your first Kaz of the game. Doesn't Apo. But he does have a bench, and you'll you'll notice there uh, Glart is off the field right now, so he's definitely going to be in for the second half of this game. So it'll still be even on the pitch here, unless a foul is coming, but I don't think we're going to see a foul. Nope. And he vanity passes for no reason whatsoever. And here you go, second half starting. The Orc's going to have to answer, and now you're just going to see a long, slow, bloody drive to tie it up 1-1 and take this into overtime because you cannot risk putting the ball back into the hands of the Skaven in a situation like this. Yeah, yeah, you know, I do, I do J5. I'm, I'm approaching it more from, like, in the tabletop world the average blood bowler owns maybe two different teams. So like for my, for me, for example, I don't play a ton of tabletop, but I own a dark elf team. And then I own undead. Like, I, I mean, I just bought them not too long ago. They're unpainted and unbuilt, but uh, I own the, the Grebo trio set where you can make Kemri necro or undead out of them. Um, so I technically own all of the undead teams and dark elves. So, you know, you kind of can't um you kind of can't look at it like oh well you you know if you want to play a passing team you know or if you want to have the option to pass you have to play one of these three specific teams that works in ccl when you can just recycle a team uh willy-nilly but you know now you're talking about committing money time and resources to buying building and painting uh it's a little tougher you know it's a little tougher sell to me on that one but again Seeing a play like we just saw by the rats in a gen, you know, in a vacuum, that play doesn't spoil the game for the opponent who had a pretty decent, a pretty decent half of defense, all things considered, with a pretty decent build, um, and, and gets completely spoiled by it uh, by just the rats rolling, you know, four pluses. But now they did need a six on. Yeah, they would have needed a six on that pass in Blood Bowl 2020, and he did roll a six. So in this case, nothing would have changed, but it still was something to watch. All right, and uh, the uh, the rerolls going, uh, the reroll advantage going to the rats here, and oh, right off the bat, eats the one. The big man just going to be sitting on the LOS, unfortunately. Don't know if I love, don't know if I love starting off the activation, even though it's a three die with block, starting off with the troll there when the ball, I mean, the ball's super deep. You've got gutters that can flood in. That, that, that could have gone a lot worse than just the, uh, just the uh, the failed uh, very stupid, but again very unlikely to fail on a three dice, uh, three dice with block. Oh, sorry, Tony. Le Bien vu. 
All right, the pickup in the orc thrower does not have to deal with the animosity in this edition. If you didn't know, orc throwers uh, passing uh, passing ability has uh, has gotten slightly better, but their willingness to throw the ball significantly worse. So, you know, pick your poison on that one. And here we go. This is going to be eight turns to glory for Random Boy. Or sorry, for Mike. Uh, yeah, no, for Random Boy. And your first, uh, first true, un, you know, pure claw palm blitz, ah, claw mighty blitz gets nothing, does not break, and he's just gonna have to retreat him and defend him. Probably put, uh, well, actually, how does he keep that? He doesn't can't really keep that claw mighty safe. Well, he's gonna put the palmer up for grabs. Probably a good call if you gotta keep one of them uh, safe. You wanna, you wanna keep that claw safe against orcs. Yeah, Zoom. Uh, he he said he was just gonna make some food and eat. Uh, he was he seemed to be doing okay. He can generally manage his way through commentary and Blood Bowl well enough, uh, so he'll be back. But I told him I'd do the heavy lifting as as much he needed uh, for this one. I have to predict when the Xbox quote has ended. Hello, Goliath. What's up, you sexy bastard? Whoa. Gorilla Metzel in the house. We have entered. We have the JFW universe has invaded Blood Bowl. And we are watching the Blitz pit. Random guy, Mike the Machine, two top tier coaches. I believe at least Random Boy has won one Blitz pit. J5 or Tony, could someone... Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, absolutely, Tony. Could one of you guys confirm that? Uh, if anyone could take a look somewhere and uh, let us know the uh, relative success of these two teams. I did not do my homework on this one, and I apologize. But uh, two very, very well-regarded coaches in the Blitz pit going at it in the first round. Blitz pit, if you don't know, is a double, uh, double elimination. So if uh, both coaches losing this one will be forced to play at least one more game of Blood Bowl. Um, uh, into a loser's bracket that you can still win the entire tournament through. It just adds in some games. Maybe just one game. Uh, yeah, I don't know if you're in the Discord. I'm sure it's on the Discord. I just don't want to go digging through it. So the Oryx having this... Oh, and here comes Jimmy min max -tastic. No, I'm sorry, Jimps. Jimps joining us back in the commentary booth. How you doing, Jimps? Hello, I'm fine. How are you? Good, good. You got some food there? Mmm, I've got an apple. Oh, I do like me an apple, but it is not the season for apples. You should not be eating grocery store trash apples. <laughs> sorry. Fresh from the orchard, pick two miles away, or throw it in the bin. Oh, I play on Xbox. Oh, Goliath. Four. <laughs> yeah, so, Jim, we had a really interesting situation. Uh, Mike the Machine was in all kinds of trouble on his turn eight. Uh, he was able to break through, but then he got completely shut down and got the ball sacked and put on the ground and then uh, made a – and then uh, Random Boy made a four-plus pickup to put that ball in the hands – uh, of I believe it was his thrower so it looked like uh there was no shot for Mike the machine but as you can see by the score that didn't happen but a very interesting situation played out in which uh, uh, he he needed to make a long a long gutter runner pass with the ball which is, as we know in Blood Bowl 2020 would have required a six well guess what he rolled Jim <laughs> a four. <laughs> He rolled a six. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so in that particular case, it worked out the way it would have always worked out. But that that was a very nice highlight of some of the challenges that even the even a team like Rats, who most people are regarding as doing okay, doing okay with these changes to their team, um, that would have been a play that was almost off the menu. I mean, it still worked. 
but mm. uh, and it would have worked there. But like you would not have looked at that and been like, "Yep, the rats are definitely going to score here." Oh, wow! Well, uh, random move going for the classic base the ball play. Yeah. Oh, and a foul. Wow, he does not have a bench to work with here, but he gets the injury. Wow! What a look of uh, noob. Does he can't does he can't really apo that either? Because really, all he's looking to do at this point is apo uh, a KO to keep him on the pitch because he's hoping to make an eight-turn drive here. Wow. I hate that play from Mike the Machine, but it worked out for him. Yeah. Uh, a really gutsy call. Oh, I mean, I guess, uh, yeah. That's a really gutsy call. I guess he does technically have a bench since he has Glart and, and there is one Kaz there. But taking the, taking the DP with one bench into a tournament is uh, asking for trouble, in my opinion. And uh, Lux out again on the 3D on that ball base. Uh, the, the, the wrestle gutter gets to keep fighting. And now the orc thrower <laughs> gets himself into a nice uh, safe cage here. Well, mostly safe. There isn't guard on all corners so he could he could just hop in he still can just jump right in there and red dice him if he wants with wrestle he could but i don't think he will i think he'll try and uh you know it's three turns to get the halfway line isn't it it's taken yeah. him so i think he'll try and just defend this conventionally yeah, sorry i'm still eating my apple blitz. yeah i think he'd rather use his blitz with claw right now uh to stay, to stay, keep everyone in front of him, and just try and pick off a player. You know, if he could take that, uh, well, he's not going to probably one D that black orc, but uh, if he could get a, a good hit somewhere, maybe this blitzer behind. Well, yeah, you know, uh, random, random boy doing a, again, doing a good job, not really not giving him up any juicy targets here. Without having to, you know, also make a, a dodge out afterwards. Oh, I forgot about Glart being strength four. <laughs> yeah, he's got the claw blitz from Glart and he does connect, does not. Oh, he does break armor. Just the stun, though. <laughs> Sorry, Sim Tony. Uh, this is like a uh, steroid infused elf screen here by Random Boy. Could get a gutter 3D though. And sure looks like he's about to. Nope. Just two D and oh, but he can uh, yeah, yeah, he can do follow ups here. But now he's gonna he's gonna end up giving up he's gonna give up a blitzer hit here. Whew. But no mighty blow, I'm surprised he didn't just hit him with the uh, troll, honestly, because he's got no mighty blow, has he? And that's what I was thinking too, actually. Mm. <sighs> oh. People are fucking dumb, aren't they? There's no. <sighs> what, if, what, if, what have people done, Jim? They just they just do my head in because they're stupid. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Fair enough. Well, well, Jim, let me ask you: What is the source of this stupidity in this particular uh, situation? Oh, it's not it's... worth talking about. It's just dumb, you know. Well, I was gonna say if it's a Discord channel or if it's uh, Blood Bowl Reddit, then I think the dumb person is you for spending time on. Okay, yeah, it was Blood Bowl Reddit, yeah. <laughs>
Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> I'm not surprised in the slightest. Jim, the best thing you can do for your mental health and your ability to process people with a little bit of uh, positivity is to stay the fuck off of Reddit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're right there, Gorilla. <laughs> Oh, All right. Well, this uh, the screen working out, but uh, there is no escaping some big hits uh, for Mike the Machine this this upcoming turn. Or taking some big hits, I should say. But again, I say big hits, and there's only one mighty blow, and it's the least re reliable player on the team. Yeah, that's the thing. So he can afford to be a bit aggressive with his uh, basing techniques. Yep. Is he going to but, uphill the troll here? Maybe. Uh, yeah. I mean, he's got two options, hasn't he? He blitters with Glart to try and hurt the troll, or he uphills the troll to try and uphill the thrower. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. no, he does get him with Glart. The claw is in. Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. Nothing at all. Nothing at all. <laughs> Might have been better off claw mightying this random blitzer because he would have broken his armor. <laughs> but he didn't. Well, I think, uh, yeah. I think there's going to be some hits here. What is he? Oh, now he can just dodge out that wrestler at least. There you go. Yeah, and he moves him out. It was pretty good actually positionally yep. to blitz him. Yep. But now he can, uh, you know, uh, random boy can just move some guard in. Oh, oh, that's an awful, Oof. really stupid to have to take right now. Oof. Stupid draw. Real brutal. He could have, yeah, he could have really helped him out this turn by <laughs> just being on his feet. Or helped him out next turn, I should say. Yeah. Stupid. Do you remember, uh, what's he called, that shit wrestler who was muscly? That's Jim. Jim, you gotta you gotta pare it down a little bit. <laughs> Ryback, stupid. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Ryback. <laughs> I loved it when he went stupid. That was like, that was one of my favorite yeah. things. <laughs> stupid. That guy fell off a cliff when he went to the Indies, I believe. I think uh, yeah. I forget, I forget exactly what happened with him. But there's a reason he didn't get scooped up by one of the uh, top indie promotions. Yeah, and yeah. I, don't, I don't think it was anything too bad. I think he's just like no one wants to work with him because he's pretty unsafe. Yeah, and he's an well, idiot. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, there's that, but I, I don't really remember. Like he, I don't think he had like a like any sort of allegations against them or anything oh, like no, that. No, no, no. I just think which he's... is normally what's destroying uh, the indie wrestling. Uh, yeah, <laughs> you know. Like, a bunch of shit heels doing a bunch of shitty things, finally getting exposed. It's not it's not been a pleasant time in the wrestling industry. But we're not here to talk about wrestling. And if we were, we'd be talking about the JFW universe because that's the purest of the pure wrestling. The worst you got to deal with there is Jimmy Minmax-tastic. And he's still a pretty stand-up guy, all things considered. Absolutely. He's a lovely fella. <laughs> and if you don't know what the JFW universe is, folks... You gotta get on the train. Head to Jimmy. I almost said Jimmy Min Max Fantastic. Head to JimmyFantastic.com or go to YouTube and search for Jimmy Fantastic. You will find a channel with all of your JFW action from the last few months of its existence, including every episode of Monday Night Claw, Wednesday World Class, and Friday Stand Firm, along with all of our pay per views, all of the actions, all of the crazy storylines. It's a hell of a time, and if you're not watching, you're missing out. Oh yeah. What a time to be alive. <laughs> <laughs> Some would say. <laughs> this is looking really bad for Random Boy, isn't he? Staring the, down the barrel of a 1-0 loss here. Yeah, he cannot get forward at all. These I mean, you know, I mean, and take nothing away from Mike here. He's doing an excellent work, you know. With you know, with his uh, kind of advantage, like yeah, he he's dealing with a lot of guard, but he just does not have to worry about any sort of real damage coming through. And there's no 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 tackle for the orcs either. So even three Ding those rats is not a sure thing. Or those gutters. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. 
Yeah, he should have. I think you know maybe he's ran the boy. I guess it was a deep kick and stuff, and maybe even a blitz. It looked horrible in having the ball back down there. And... No, well, yeah, no blitz, no blitz on offer. They just both got re rolls out of it. Um, neither of which has had to use any. But yeah, it's a very deep kick, yeah. and uh, you know it's just. I mean, that's you know that's rats on defense. If they want to push, they can push Boggy down. And what I think was just really excellent uh, by Mike the Machine is he got in there bogged him down but then you'll notice he didn't do that thing you see happen in ccl a lot there are no rats behind the play right now they all yeah. got right back where they needed to be you know again uh my suggestion earlier when i was talking about that wrestler having a five up you know a five plus dodge in to hit the ball that's a bait that a bad player would take because instead he moved him right back in front of the play and he has been instrumental in being in the way here yeah, that's that is very true. Yeah, it's uh, it's he's gonna have to looks like he's gonna have to try and burst through now, and it's gonna be really tough, isn't it? Four five, four five GFI G. If he double GFIs with a throw, he's still gonna be like you know if he knocks down this lineman here, double GFIs with a throw, and he's still gonna be not going very far. So it's yeah, it, really it's gonna tough. take something. Now, in fairness, we just saw the rats come into a, a very similar spot where. Yeah, they're up one nothing, and if you at all if you at all placed bets on whether the Rats would end the first half up one nothing on offense, everyone would have taken that 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 result. <laughs> but it still took some pretty crazy dice to make it happen, and a and a and a good bit of luck uh, to set everything up there. So you know you can't write the orcs off. They can pull one of those out of their asses too, but it's a hell of a lot less reliable. Wow, I do not like blitzing for a power there. Oh, my replay froze. I fucking hate this client sometimes. Oh, dear. I'll be right back in here. Oh, I do not like that. I think that was the wrong play by a random boy. I feel like this Black Orc should have blitzed the line or And okay, it would mean GFIs and a bit of a scary advancement, but instead he gets no advancement, and it's a bit tricky. Oh. <laughs> oh boy. It's Bloodsput breaking dad. Hello. Hello, Lemon is good. Um, so, one minute tournament cash prizes organized by Gadenik, the undead Aussie himself. Yep, this is a this is a sponsor funded game to, or tournament as well. So there's some nice cash prizes uh, involved. Gdanik, the uh, the owner and manager of Blitzbit, this is the first time he's thrown his hat into it, and there's no funny business here. He still had to be voted in as a participant, which he was. So he has handed off the uh, managerial duties of this one to Bezel while he plays his games and competes for that prize. I don't know who you're talking about there. Do you mean Bezel? I do mean Bezel. Good. <laughs> Good point. Good point indeed. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, I couldn't All right, myself. so there's basically no avoiding the future of the orcs is in the uh, potato farming industry. <laughs> yes, of Mr. Throw himself. Yeah, uh, I mean, does he hand off? Does he risk the handoff to a blitzer to get himself that extra movement? He doesn't have any choice, I don't think. Yeah, no, I don't think so, too. So I, I don't know. Like The way the board is now, and it's about to change, I'm sure... But you've got Watt up there, the, the the blitzer can basically peel off to the right and get himself up onto that like 14 marker. And um, oh Christ, do you even have to pass to him so that you can bring the blitzer downfield into scoring range too? That seems like a terrible option. I mean, you could fumble Ruski in. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, Jim, unfortunately you cannot. <laughs> you uh, could, you but... could do a running pass. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, if he had a little, yeah. If, to be fair, Jim, I know we're we're joking here, but uh, if hey, you fellow kids, the black orc was able to take down that little uh, that tackle lineman, you could in theory do a running pass quite effectively right now, where you move. I mean, not that the orc thrower has a ton of movement, and he'd fail an animosity check for sure. <laughs> um, so, yeah, there is a shot here, though. Mike the Machine has given him the right yeah. side of the field there, yeah, basically beyond the hash marks. Not a great option. 
but there's not much else to do. Oh, he does yeah. not get the knockdown, though. Might have to re-roll that chip. No, I think he can 3D him with a troll, can't he? Oh, yep, certainly, certainly. But I still wanted that troll in front of both uh, both that lino and that gutter. If I Ooh, oh, he does it. Oh, I don't know. So is he gonna is he gonna three D the gutter then with yeah, the troll? Yeah, it looks like he did it last time. So he'll probably try it again, won't he? Well, yeah, this is this is just begging for a really stupid fail. It's interesting because I thought he left too much over over this side, and was it, but you know maybe he doesn't think. I mean, he's got he's got the gutters that can react, I guess. But yeah, just the push. So he is gonna get some guys through. He's gonna have two people up in scoring range here. I think he's gonna have to pass to this blitzer to really have a shot. Yep. And that sucks. <laughs> yep. He's a one GFI from a quick pass isn't the worst thing. Yeah. Well, he he can... could make the second GFI to hand it off, which is what yep. he's gonna opt to do. That's actually much safer. Getting full value from pass there. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yep. Oh, he doesn't hand he's it off. He's not going to hand it off this turn. But if he's not going to hand it off, why isn't that blitzer on the left side of where the thrower is instead of the right, putting him more in the way of any players coming across? Because, uh, I guess because cause he's going to try and get this guy up as well. He's going to try yeah, and get the other yeah, blitzer up as I'm well. I'm like totally an orc about to make some GFIs as well to be relevant. Yep. And he does. Could he make another one? No, no, that's two. He had to make two to get there. Oh, so. yeah, he did. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, you're right. You're right. He could have got it. He needed the dodge to get it further. All right. Well, this is an, isn't a full-bloomed potato. But <laughs> yeah, the thrower can't score. So he's got he's got two potential oh, scorers. That's shit, all he's got. You're right. I thought, interesting, interesting. If this is the case, wouldn't you have liked... Oh, no, he had already made two TFIs. Yeah, yeah. He couldn't get him to score in range without a dodge. Yeah, so... So I wouldn't he's... have minded an eye cage if he could have double GFI'd into that position, but he couldn't. Yeah, so on the one hand, the the handoff last turn would have been good to have, you know, got him on the ball. But now um, it means he's got to make an extra roll this turn, doesn't it? But it does mean that he can't get the ball down and scoop it back up again because now the ball's protected. So I, I quite like that, actually, from Random Boy. Unconventional, but uh, it could work. But, I mean, he's, he can swarm and probably stop everything, yeah. can't he? I mean, just like we saw at the end of the first half, it's going to come down to some favorable or unfavorable dice. Would be a bit of a shame uh, if uh, if Random Boy doesn't get the dice he needs in the same way that Mike got the dice he needed, uh, because I think I think this game probably does deserve an overtime, Jim. Yeah. Yeah, it's a shame that I missed the tutty. But, uh, yeah, yeah, it was a good. I mean, it was exactly what you'd expect it to be. They set it up the turn before with a uh, a red dice uh, double pow blitz to <laughs> open a hole to get the ball into scoring range at all, and uh, it just kind of continued on from there. Yep. <laughs> Yo, J five, J five. It's a lot easier to commentate than play, but also. Uh, most of the time I'm playing it against you. You, you, you know how those games go. <laughs> oh, wow. He, I didn't think he could get a full elf screen up here. Um, this, uh, this is going to be a bit tragic, I think, because I don't think the orcs are going to get through this personally. Yep. <laughs> uh, <in> <laughs> Just realize what I did. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you, I thought you, I just assumed you did that on purpose. No. What do you got? What do you got for us for a play here, Jim? Now, the only question is: Is there accidentally a chain on with all this basing? Um, I mean, yeah, but it's still horrible, isn't it? So yeah, yeah, it really is. And it uses up your blitz that way. So yeah, probably not. Yeah, I think I think I think you probably have to. Uh, you, does he have the frenzy anywhere? No, he's lost the frenzy. Um. Yeah, he's fucked, isn't he? <laughs> <laughs> I think he. I think he is fucked in this one. I think maybe you hand off to I the mean, guess, hand off to the blitzer, move. right? This is what I'm thinking. Hand off to the blitzer now, then uh, blitz blitz the storm vermin. Push the uh, blitzer forward one. Well, he does make the handoff in the tackle zone. This is what one I was looking at the one D here, but now he's just stuck on a bunch of dodges. Yeah. 
I don't, I, I really was thinking, I was trying to think of a way to put, oh, does get an injury. Not going to free up a square that he's going to want to use, though. Um, this is probably I bad. was I was trying to th see if there was a way to get this guy who has the ball, um, the ball, and now, and then he fails the first, and fails the second, and that is going to be the game. One nothing falls, random boy. Uh, yeah, that's, a, again, put up a valiant fight. Almost had the stop against Skaven in the first half, which really would have been something. But he just, he snaked for the added salt there and <laughs> and followed up with a two and a one. Nothing was going to happen for him that turn. No, yeah, it's a shame that the, the, it looks like the deep kick killed him really, didn't it, on offense? Yeah, sure did. I uh, yeah, sure did. And like, uh, again, very excellent positional awareness by Mike the Machine using those rats well uh and really reacting to the fact that yeah okay he's guard locked a bit but the orcs aren't really posing much of a threat to his mostly av7 team yeah and that is it your winner the fucking rats one minute mike mike the machines blitz pit uh rats will advance and uh random boys orcs will fall into the losers bracket not out though this is a double elimination tournament and we will be coming back with more Blitzpit action soon, Jim. Yep, thanks for thanks for commenting, Gorilla. Thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.